Multnomah Falls is the most visited natural recreation site in the Pacific Northwest. That's according to the U.S. Forest Service. Fox 12 meteorologist Katie Suniga went on a hike with Corbett Fire to preview a new tool they're using to speed up response times out on the trail. This is one of Oregon's most popular tourist attractions. Moroma Falls gets something like two million visitors a year, and it's a place we come a number of times a year. It presents kind of its own challenges for organizations like ours. It's a beautiful trail. It's about a thousand feet of vertical elevation between here and the top of the falls, so it's a pretty good hike. We have everything from broken ankles to cardiac to cut myself on some blackberries that we get called for up here. So we have some equipment out here today that you're going to be demonstrating for us. Tell us about the stuff that you use on a regular basis and then the new things that you're yeah. producing. So the biggest thing we uh, use is something we call the crawler. And that's a uh, motorized uh, tracked vehicle that carries all our gear up for us. We have a new drone that we've been using in kind of a pilot capacity this summer. It does a lot of really cool things and in this context can potentially deliver medicines or even a lightweight AED to somebody who's having a medical issue on the trail. So we've hiked up a ways. We're at a popular spot to stop and look. Let's say that I've hurt myself in some way, sprang an ankle and I'm not able to get myself back down on my own. You have the call, you just showed up. Walk us through what happens from that point to when you get here. So this is a pretty common scenario. Uh, let's imagine that Katie here has sprained or broken her ankle. Um, by this time, our medical team would have stabilized her ankle and determined that she really just needs to get down from here and to the ambulance. I'm gonna help Katie uh, get loaded in here and support her weight. So as you just hop back in there, Absolutely. lean Perfect. back, and then we're gonna strap you in. We just went through a scenario where it wasn't too bad. Maybe somebody was just loosely hurt and that's how you respond. But what if when your team gets up here and the situation's a little more critical, I want you to walk me through how you respond in those situations. Yeah, totally. So that's kind of where we imagine the drone being really useful. It's not uncommon that something that starts as simple as a broken angle turns into a much larger event. Maybe they need some pain meds. Maybe they start having heart issues. So that way, we can call the drone in and bring some medicine, bring an AED, something like that. You just showed us how quickly we can get some medical supplies up here. We've seen how you can help somebody that's maybe not in a life-threatening situation. What are some things that you would like everybody to know so hopefully you never have to use this equipment? The most common thing we see by far is sprained ankles. So wear good footwear. This is a pretty strenuous hike, uh, even though it's a very popular attraction. Wear good shoes. That's the most important thing. Okay, well, thank you for showing us how all the equipment works. Hopefully you won't have to use it anytime soon. Sounds good.